Brad the Car Guy here, and today I want to talk about OBD2 scanners. These scanners can be a really great tool when diagnosing all different kinds of stuff on your car. They come in a few different versions. You can get a wired one that you plug into your OBD2 reader, and then you have a laptop that you have to plug in uh, via USB. They also have Wi-Fi and they have Bluetooth versions. I chose a Bluetooth version that I just pair with my tablet. Uh, I find that to be the easiest. It will work with a phone, but honestly, it's a really small screen to see. So I like having this because you can have a bunch of different dials on the screen and still be able to read them. Another great benefit to the wireless is you can use it while you're driving. It will show you live updates of all, all different kinds of statistics on your car. Uh, and you don't have to have a wire, obviously, by your feet, which just isn't safe. To get it connected, all you have to do is just find your OBD2 port. And generally speaking, it's going to be in the driver's side footwell. Uh, it's usually underneath the dash, by the pedals, or uh, by the steering column. And occasionally you'll see it in some cars, it'll be in the glove box or somewhere in the center console. Uh, but it's a, just a little port. You plug it in, make sure your car's off, plug it in, and then turn it to the on position, and then you can link it up to your app. My particular scanner is uh, one called an OBD Link, and it's from a company called ScanTool. Uh, I bought it. I, this isn't a promotional video. I just really enjoy it and want to show you how to use it. But if you are interested in it or taking a look at it, it's just in the link below. Now, I'll show you the app here. Really, if you just uh, go to your Play Store or uh, App Store, whatever it is, and download the OBD Link app. It's just right here. And once the actual uh, device is plugged in, you just have to turn it into the on position, whatever car you have it in, and hit connect. This is, of course, after if you have Bluetooth, you need to have paired it with the actual tablet or phone. And if you have Wi-Fi, you need to add it to the Wi-Fi to make sure that it's connected to the actual device. So now that it's connected, you can do a whole bunch of different stuff in here, starting with, uh, most importantly, your diagnostics. Now, if you click on diagnostics and you have a service engine soon or a check engine light on in your car, this will actually show you what the code is. Uh, right now, as you can see, I'm very grateful to not have any codes on my Xterra, but I'm going to go and I'll show you what it looks like anyways. I took a screenshot from before. This here is what it looks like when you have actual codes. Now it shows you the actual code. So it'd be P0411 would be the code that it's throwing. And then it gives you a short description. You can also click on them and it will search for what that means. Uh, honestly, I don't use that feature. I just go to a browser and I will search P0411, uh, you know, Nissan or Audi or whatever car you're using it on you would search that code and then the manufacturer, and generally it, you get a really quick answer and a little more detail as to what that actually means. Now back in the app, you can actually do like map tracking. You can use the GPS on your device and it will do like a trail of where your car went. Um, you can look at logs so you can actually, while you're driving, leave it running and it will track things like, you know, the mass airflow intake, the uh, miles per gallon, the RPMs, all the forces, all of that. But what's really nice is you have a live dashboard. So in the live dashboard, you can put in all kinds of different stuff. So for instance, on my screen, let's see what I have here. I have the miles per gallon. All right. That's, that's pretty cool. It's just instant fuel economy. Um, it's especially nice for cars that don't have it. The actual app will calculate it based on the, collect, the collection of information. And it will give you a calculated miles per gallon. Things like torque. That's pretty neat. Mass, mass airflow sensor. It tells you how much air it's taking in. Uh, engine temp. I used engine temp a whole ton, especially when diagnosing the, uh, the overheating issue on the Xterra. I used that a lot because I wanted to know the, the dial and the dash really isn't all that great. It doesn't give you a whole bunch of uh, specificity, so to speak. It doesn't actually say what the temperature is. So in here, I was able to tell that the car was getting pretty hot and the needle wasn't really showing me um, that it was getting pretty hot. So really cool tool. Nice to have that. Your battery voltage, that's another one. If you're having alternator issues, you can easily find that out by looking at this dashboard. And then your fuel rate, that's fine as well. Now, I'll show you how these update live when you turn on your car. So if I just flip on the car, you'll see instantly it's tracking the RPMs. Uh, you can see that it's grabbing the temperature that you'll see that will go up as it time goes on. It tells me my mass airflow. 
and my fuel rate. Now, um, also you can look at throttle body issues. So for instance, my RPM, you see that it's fluctuating uh, a lot, but it's not outside of the normal fluctuation based on you know the manuals and what they say. If it was fluctuating really high, so let's say it was going from 1500 to 800, I mean, obviously you'll know that just by driving it, but it's good to have solid data and you'll be able to see those trends. So this is actually only one dashboard. So you could take this dashboard and move it over and you can have an entirely separate set of data on multiple dashboards. So you can have probably, I don't know, as many pages as you want, really. Uh, this is obviously if we had a turbo booster, which we don't have. So uh, it's a nice way to just go in, take a look at uh, the different types of stats inside your car. Well, that's it. I just wanted to show you the tool that I use to uh, help diagnose all my cars. And uh, if you were thinking about getting one, I hope this video you know, helps you decide. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.